There she is. There's my superstar I've been waiting. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the to the Coach Beastmo channel. Thank you. Oh hey. This is the superstar I've been waiting for. Good morning! Welcome to Daily uh, Coach Beast, the Coach Beast Mode channel. Today I got uh, Jay Smooth over here, hey guys. CrossFit athlete. How many years have you been training? Uh, it's like three years now. Three, three years, pretty mm -hmm. consistent. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. Try to. Yeah. Tell, tell them about your gains. Um, I definitely gained a lot of muscle on my legs, and I never thought that I would before. Yeah, let me see them legs. Uh, Look at them. Damn. <laughs> uh, um, definitely gotta be patient. Yeah. Definitely gotta be patient. This did not happen overnight. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. What's your key advice to any CrossFit athlete that are trying, or anybody out there that's trying to, trying to just improve their health and fitness? I'd say don't give up because CrossFit can be very intense. And I always say that to myself because there's days where I'm like, I can't do a certain movement or something or a certain weight. And um, just don't give up. Just be consistent, like you said. Right, right, right. What about, what about this advice? Listen to your coaches. Or that too. Yeah. yeah. They definitely know it's what they're doing. Great advice, huh? Because at first I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. But, um, you gotta listen to your coaches. <laughs> we'll guide you and make sure that you don't get injured and then yes. make sure we push you just a little bit uh, enough where you see those gains yep. consistently. All right, so what we're doing today, we're doing a Saturday workout. It's almost like a team competition kind of workout. We're doing uh, power cleans and deadlifts, so I'm gonna go through the warm ups with the class and everybody. Uh, looks like it's a majority of women's in this class. Yes, Say what's strong. up, Anna. Hi. Hey, Anna. Anna's got gains. Heather Vogus. So I just learned that Heather got a Twitter. She's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty savvy. Steb, you know her from the first vlog. Christina. What's going on? Cat right here. What up? She's taking. What's up, man? Hey, you watch the Coach B Sport channel? I know you're a YouTube fan. Alright guys, just like my training sessions, I always include a light little warm up for everybody in our class. This is necessary to prevent injury, especially if you're going into some weightlifting, powerlifting. Spend some time, save you some from the injuries. Uh, I pride myself on making sure that my classes are properly warmed up. And And I also pride myself on the five, four years of coaching and helping people out that we haven't had any major injuries. Basically, a good warm-up will be about five, ten minutes, uh, getting the heart rate up a little bit, just warming up the muscles so they're getting ready for our movements. And a lot of the warm-ups I use is will help kind of mimic the exercises that we're going to be doing in the classes. All right, so in most of our classes at CrossFit Annadale, we'll always have a good group of people that are intermediate. In, intermediate That means people that have been training for one to three years, and then there's a few people that uh, will be new to the classes. And I always take the time to spend uh, more time with the beginners because obviously they're gonna need a little bit more work and uh, athletes that have been here training for two to three years just need a little few tweaks and little coaching advices. Obviously, I pay more attention to the newer athletes.
for me, uh, I need to set a good example as being a coach that uh, I actually do a lot of these movements. Uh, stretching and doing these works after class, before class. I always try to preach this as much as to the athletes as possible. When we're gonna come in into our training sessions, we're gonna be doing work. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done outside of the classroom. It's just basic homework. Uh, and I do this myself and I preach it as much as possible. And I always try to explain to the class why we need to do these exercises. Obviously, I cannot pay attention and coach anybody outside of the classroom. It's the individual athletes that's going to set them up for success outside the classroom doing the extra work. If you guys really want to be a great CrossFit athlete, a great bodybuilder, a great powerlifter, there's going to be a lot of work that's going to be outside of the gym that your coach probably cannot uh, you know, program for you. All right, guys, as you can see, this is Carmelia and Luis. They've been training at CrossFit and they're about two weeks now. So I really try to show a lot of extra attention to some of the new athletes and then give my attention where it's needed uh, for the intermediate and advanced athletes. Uh, all right, so with my coaching philosophy, I try to teach the most advanced technique as possible. So here's what I'm doing with Carmelia and Luis is I will teach them the triple extension, which is basically the hardest, most technical part of uh, the weightlifting movements, the clean and the snatch, right? I will teach them first, and if they can't get it, I will simplify a little bit more and simplify it more until we can get to a point where uh, they are effective uh, for our uh, workout. All right, so you go from the triple extension, and then if some of the athletes that can't get this movement, I would say, hey, naturally, just try to jump with the bar. That's basically my go-to. All right, so once I get through my sequence of uh, progression of the exercise, I will fine tune, I'll get to the point where they could actually move and then I could get to them where they could just fix it and make small tweaks uh, as they go. And that is basic coaching. You can't teach anybody everything all at once. It just takes a little bit of progress, a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. And I have to instill that value into my athletes as well. All right, so now we're going to be coaching a few of the intermediate athletes, athletes that's been here about a year or more, where they got a good amount of knowledge about the lifts, and now we're just fine-tuning it. And if you guys hadn't noticed, CrossFit Annandale, the community is a majority of women, and one of the biggest things that I try to do help with uh, the women out here uh, at our gym is to try to instill uh, confidence in their lifting. Uh, sometimes they're too afraid to go a little bit heavier on some of their weights. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just weights. As long as you have the form correct, the technique doesn't have to be there. It doesn't have to be 100%. You just have to commit a lot into some of these lifts, which a lot of people are very afraid to do. I try to instill this as much as possible into our fellow women athletes. Nice, Jenny. Damn. Technical AF. All right, guys, so basically that was seven minutes for the each partner to find their one rep max in the power clean. And right after they were done with the seven minutes, they take the heaviest weight and do 100 reps of deadlifts. The only thing I do with the rest of the class is to make sure that nobody has rounded backs. Safety is one of the biggest concerns. And then the rest of the class is I try to make it as fun as possible. So for me as a coach, I have to understand that everybody here is coming in to try to improve and get a little bit better. We don't need to take it as serious. There's athletes that do want tend to take a little bit more serious, but in general, most of everybody that comes to our community just want to have fun, have a good training sessions. So I try to make it and simplify a little bit as much so that they get as much as they can from my class. There's no reason for me to spit out 
exercise and health jargon that they understand. I want to make sure that they understand, leave my class with a little bit more knowledge, a little bit. Jenny, let's get a okay. recap of that wide. So what'd you, what'd you hit on the, the uh, power clean? 140. 140? Hey, that's what I predicted, right? Yeah, 25, <laughs> I think, but yeah. I didn't think I was gonna hit What was your previous that you? Uh, like 130, 132, okay. yeah. So, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Fast elbows. Yes, fast yeah. elbows. You just gotta get people to commit sometimes and just stop being so 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 scared sometimes. Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's just weights, you know. It's really at the end of the day it's just weights and it's all fun, right? Yeah. Yes. Until yes. somebody gets hurt. Until, yeah, until someone gets hurt. I'm here to make sure I'm no one like my coffee. I'm here to make sure that no one gets hurt. And nobody's been hurt. No and all, been hurt. And people all. only get, have gains. Oh, all gains, 100% gains in my classes. And stuff. <laughs> all right. All right. Enjoy. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks. You too. We don't just motivate and get people to do stuff. We just have them. Have them Bye, guys. <laughs>